What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Crimson Wings 562, and today I'm going to show you how to properly install a League of Legends user interface. Now, this UI is very minimal and it just looks badass, and I think it should be the default League of Legends user interface. Wink, wink, right, games. Now, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and download it. I already have it downloaded. So, once you have it downloaded, extract it. I extract it to my desktop, which is right here. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and copy your RADS folder and make a copy of it and go ahead and back it up anywhere you want. I backed mine up on my desktop which is right here I cannot stress this enough just go ahead and back it up if you don't want to install the game all over again this is just a safety precaution so I would suggest you back up your RADS folder so once that's done backing up go ahead and click perv UI and click SIU scroll down right click you can either choose to run it as administrator or open it I'm just gonna go ahead and open it now when you first run it, it it's gonna prompt you with a there's an update available just go ahead and exit that out and also the first time you run it it's gonna look for your League of Legends installation directory I have mines under my C drive so I don't need to show you that once it's done finding your League of Legends installation directory you might get a little updating window or something after all that just uh, like this right here after that prompts up if it does prompt just go ahead and click options edit install preferences and make sure you have this check install new menu and text mods so I have mine checked go ahead and click save you're gonna get this other prompt heads up just click OK and now we can begin installing the UI now let's go back to our perv UI folder by the way that's P-E-R-B not P-E-R-V all right we're gonna go ahead and click on perv UI core and drag that folder into the LOL skin installer and it's going to go ahead and say successfully added 39 files click OK done adding files yes I am now you could choose any name you want I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it as the default and click OK add it HUD center click OK again now once that's done Go back to your perv UI directory and click perv UI resolutions and go ahead and click the resolution which represents your current monitor that you play League of Legends on. I play on 1360 by 768. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this folder inside lol skin installer so if you play on a 1920 by 1080 you drag that folder inside the lol skin installer but me since i play in a 1360 by 768 resolution i'm gonna go ahead and drag the 1360 by 768 folder into the lol skin installer add it to files you're gonna get that prompt click ok another prompt are you done adding files yes we are again if you want you can name it whatever you want 
I'm just going to leave it as the default name. Click OK. Another prompt. Just click OK again. Now go ahead and check these two boxes right here. And click install. Make sure this box is, is checked as well. Install new menu and text mods. Click save. Another prompt. OK. Now it's going to go ahead and install. Just wait for that to install. Once it's installed, you're going to get this install complete. You have now successfully installed your custom nice minimal UI. Click OK and it's going to show you the install date that you installed it. Now we're going to go ahead and launch the game and I'm going to show you that it's working. Okay, here we are in the custom bot game that I created, which is what I suggest you do is create a bot game and check if the UI is working properly. If it is, it should look like this. Now, as you see the window of the vendor is a little small for my liking. Now, there's actually a way to fix that to restore it to the default size and I'll post a link on that or write it out in the description box if I'm not too lazy another thing is we have this HUD wall right here it's ugly ass right HUD wall what you want to do is go ahead and hit escape go to more options and check hide center HUD wall hit OK and there you go it removes the HUD wall another thing which I can think of that I ran into is the party unit frames sometimes they'll be off now what I would suggest you do is go ahead and reinstall the your resolution for your monitor again I had to do it about four times or three times for it to actually be the straighten the party unit frames up so just go ahead and reinstall your resolution if it's off all right if you run into any problems or have any questions please do not hesitate to ask me I will be more than happy to answer them and I hope this was able to help you out as always Crimson 